Hi, hi, it's the tiny one slash species, and uh, let's check out some more Pokemon by category. All right, we are getting close to the end of the S category, and then we just have T. Uh, that's the next big category, and then I think U is the next uh, big category, and then we're done. Um, yeah, T has 42, and oh no, it's W that is 32. I think we might be able to, uh, yeah, I think possibly three more videos and we'll be able to, boom, done with the series. That's what I'm going to shoot for anyways. But yeah, oh my god, we're almost done. I am super, super happy. Alright. So, let's get to it. Also, I'm recording this on my new headset, which um, I... I kind of like so far. So this category is called Superpower. And we have Machop at number 66. It is fighting type. It's 2 foot 7 inches and 43 pounds. Its whole body is composed of muscles. Even though it's the size of a human child, it can hurl 100 grunts. Oh my god. <laughs> and the red version says... Always brimming with power, it passes time by lifting boulders. Doing so makes it even stronger. Okay. And it evolves into Machoke and Machamp. And Machoke is going to be the next Pokemon that we look at. So this is Pokemon 67. Again, it's fighting type. It is four foot eleven, so it's a little bit smaller than I, or a little bit bigger than I am, and one hundred fifty-five point four pounds. Its muscular body is so powerful; it must wear a power save belt to be able to regulate its motions. Oh my god! And the red version says its formidable body never gets tired. It helps people by doing work such as the moving of heavy goods. And next is Machamp. And number 68, but there's also a Gigantamax version. Oh my god. Wow. Just yikes. It's so funny though because this foot's forward, but then it's got this foot that makes it look like it's a teeny man foot, even though I know it's further back than the rest of it. <laughs> it just looks funny. It is fighting type. It's 5 foot 3 inches and 286 6 pounds. It punches with its four arms at blinding speed. It can launch a thousand punches in two, se two seconds. Sorry, I got a case of the hiccups. And the red version says it can knock a train flying with a punch. However, it's terrible at delicate work using its fingers. And. So it's still fighting type. It is now at least 82 feet and nobody knows how much it weighs. The Gigantamax energy coursing through its arms makes its punches hit as hard as bomb blasts. And the red version says, One of these Pokemon once used its immeasurable strength to lift a large ship that was in trouble. It then carried the ship to port. This category is called Swallow, and we have Swallow at number 277. It is normal flying. It's 2 foot 4 inches and 43.7 pounds. Swallow flies high above our heads, making graceful arcs in the sky. This Pokemon dives at a steep angle as soon as it spots its prey. The hapless prey is tightly grasped in Swallow's clawed feet, preventing escape. And the red version says, Swello is very conscientious about the upkeep of its glossy wings. Once two swallows are gathered, they diligently take care of cleaning each other's wings. And its pre-evolution is ta Tail Low. This category is called Swift Horse. And we have Spectier. Spectrier. 
at number 897. That's actually a very cool looking pink one. It's ghost type. It's six foot seven inches, so it's um, two inches shorter than my roommate. And it's 98.1 pounds. It probes its surroundings with all its senses save one. It doesn't use its sense of sight. Spectrier's kicks are said to separate soul from body. Yikes. And the red version says, as it dashes through the night, Spectrier absorbs the life force of sleeping creatures. It craves silence and solitude. And this Pokemon does not evolve. This category is called Swine, and we have Pillow Swine at number 221. It is ice ground. It's 3 foot 7 inches and 123 pounds. If it chain charges at an enemy, the hairs on its back stand up straight. It is very sensitive to sound. And the red version says, although its legs are short, its rugged hooves prevent it from slipping, even on icy ground. And its pre-evolution is Swinib, and it evolves into Mam Mamoswine. Oh my god, this category is called Swollen. And we have Buzzwole at number 794. That looks so terrifying. Oh my god. Ugh. It is bug fighting. It's 7 feet 10 inches. That's almost an 8 foot tall bug that wants to punch you. Oh my god. No thank you. And it's 735.5 pounds. Ah, uh, nope, 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 nope. Absolutely not. Although it's alien to this world and a danger here, it's co apparently a common organism in the world where it normally lives. Yeah, no kidding. And the red version says, Buzzwall goes around showing off its abnormally swollen muscles. It is one kind of ultra beast. And this Pokemon does not evolve, thank god. This category is called Sword, and we have Hone Edge at number 679. That looks like a face. And this looks like hair. It is Steel Ghost. It's 2 foot 7 inches and 4.4 pounds. Hone Edge is Soul. Honedge's soul once belonged to a person who was killed a long time ago by the sword that makes up Honedge's body. And the red version says, The blue eye on the sword's handguard is the true body of Honedge. With its old, old cloth, it drains people's lives away. And it evolves into dual, dual blade and a Aggie Slash and Duo Blade is going to be the next Pokemon that we look at. So this is Pokemon 680. See now they both look like faces with hair. It's Steel Ghost. It's 2 foot 7 inches and 9.9 .9 pounds. Honage evolves into twins. The two blades rub together to emit a metallic sound that nerves opponents. And the red version says, the two swords employ a strategy of rapidly alternating between offense and defense to bring down their prey. This category is called Symbol, and we have Unknown at number 201. It is Psychic type. It's one foot eight inches and 11 pounds. This Pokemon is shaped like ancient writing. It is a mystery as to which became first which came first, the ancient writings or the various unknown. Research into this topic is ongoing, but nothing is known. And the red version is the same as the blue version. And this Pokemon does not evolve. Oh my gosh, the heck is that? This category is called Synthetic, and we have Type Null. At number 772. It is normal type. That's normal. 
It's six foot three pounds, so it's a little bit smaller than my roommate. And two hundred and sixty-five point seven pounds. Rumor has it that the theft of top secret research notes led to a new instance of this Pokemon being created in the Galar region. And the red version said, It was mod modeled after a mighty Pokemon of myth. The mask placed upon it limits its power in order to keep it under control. Okay. And this Pokemon evolves into Sil Valley, and that's going to be the next Pokemon that we look at. So this is Pokemon 773. Oh my gosh. It's not that much better. It's again normal type. It's 7 foot 7 inches and 221.6 pounds. A solid bond of trust between this Pokemon and its trainer awakened the strength hidden within Sil Valley. Valley. It can change its type at will. And the red version says, The final factor needed to release this Pokemon's true power was a strong bond with a trainer at trust. And that was actually the last Pokemon in the S category. And now we're moving on to T. And the category is Tadpole. And the first Pokemon we're going to look at is Poliwag at number 60. It is water type. It's two foot tall and 27.3 pounds. For Poliwag, swimming is easier than walking. The swirl pattern on its belly is actually part of the Pokemon's innards, showing through its skin. Ew. Ah. And the red version says it's not any better. In rivers with fast flowing water, this Pokemon will cling to a rock by using its thick lips, which act as a suction cup. Oh my god. And this Pokemon evolves into Poliwhirl, and then it'll either evolve into Poliwrath or Politoon. And Poliwhirl is going to be the next Pokemon that we look at. Must keep showing us its guts. This Pokemon 61 is water type. It's 3 foot 3 inches and 44.1 pounds. Staring at the swirl on its belt, belly causes drowsiness. This trait of Poliwhirl has been used in place of lullabies to get children to go to sleep. And the red version says, This Pokemon's sweat is a slimy mucus. Oh my god, it gets worse. When captured, Poliwhirl can slither from its enemy's grasp and escape. Now we have Poliwrath at number 62. It is water fighting. It's four, point, it's 4 feet 3 inches, so it's a little bit smaller than I am. It's 119 pounds. Its body is solid muscle. When swimming through cold seas, Poliwrath uses its impressive arms to smash through drift ice and plow forward. And the red version says, Poliwrath is skilled at both swimming and martial arts. It uses its well-trained arms to dish out powerful punches. And the last Pokemon in this category is Time Pole or Tim Pole, I don't know, at number 535. It's a water type. It's 1 foot 8 inches and 9.9 .9 pounds. Graceful ripples running across the water surface are a sure sign that Time pole are singing in high pitched voices below. And the red version says, Use the sound waves to communicate with others of its kind. People and other Pokemon species can't hear its cries of warning. And it evolves into Pal Palpitoad and Sismitoad. Oh my god. Next we have the category Tantrum. And we have Claw Bow Puss at number 852. It's fighting type. It's 2 foot tall and 8.8 .8 pounds. It's very curious, but it means of investigating things is to try to punch them with its tentacles. Oh my god. The search for food is what br brings it onto land. And the red version says, Its tentacles tear up easily, but it isn't alarmed when it happens. It knows I'll go back. It's about as smart as a three 
<gasps> oh my god. And this Pokemon evolves into Grapla. This category is called Teamwork, and we have Passamian at number 766. It is fighting type. It's six foot seven, so it's an inch shorter than my roommate. And it's 182.5 pounds. This Pokemon battles by throwing hard berries. It won't obey a trainer who throws Pokeballs without skill. And the red version says, The boss chooses 10 members of the group to go, hunt to go out hunting. The hunting party will eventually split the food they find with the rest of the group. And this Pokemon does not evolve. This category is called Temporal, and we have... Dialga at number 483. And there's also a origin form. Make sure both were temporal. It is Steel Dragon. So I, I looked at my um, my phone lit up, and so I glanced at it and said, "Thank you for your purchase." And I'm like, "I'm recording a video. What did I purchase?" And it's my my um, subscription to Elder Scrolls Online up uh, renewed. That's what it was. This Pokemon is 17 feet and nine inches, and 1,505.8 pounds. It's Steel Dragon. It has the power to control time. It appears in Sinal region myths as an ancient deity. And the red version says, This Pokemon is spoken of in legend. It said that time began moving when Dialga was born. What does this version say? <clears throat> and it's still a steel dragon. It's now 23 feet and 1,873.9 pounds. Radiant light caused Dialga to take on a form bearing a striking resemblance to the creator Pokemon. Dialga now wields such colossal strength that one must conclude this is its true form. And it's the same for both red and blue. And this Pokemon does not evolve. This category is called Tender. I don't get it. And we have Milotic at number 350. It is a water type. It's 20 feet and 4 inches and 3,571, or sorry, 357.1 pounds. Milotic has provided inspiration to many artists. It's even been referred to as the most beautiful Pokemon of all. And the red version says, It's said that a glimpse of a Milotic and its beauty will calm any hostile emotion you feel. Okay. And its pre-evolution is Phoebus. This category is called Thorn, and we have Rose Leah at number 315. It is grass poison. It's one foot tall and 4.4 pounds. The flowers give off a relaxing fragrance. The stronger its aroma, the healthier the ro Rose Leah is. And the red version says, it uses the different positions it uses the different poisons in each hand separately when it attacks. Okay. The stronger its aroma, the healthier it is. And its pre-evolution is Bud Dew, and it evolves next into Rose Raid. This category is called Thorn Monkey, and we have Simisage at number 512. He's like, yeah, thumbs up. It's grass type. It's 3 foot 7 inches and 67.2 pounds. It attacks enemies with strikes of its thorn-covered tail. The Pokemon is wild-tempered. And the red version says, ill-tempered, it fights by swinging its barbed tail around wildly. The leaf growing on its head is very bitter. Okay, so this... And its pre-evolution is Pan Sage. This category is called Thorn Pod, 
and we have Ferrothorn at number 598. It is grass steel. It's 3 foot 3 inches and 242.5 pounds. This Pokemon scrapes its spikes across rocks and then uses the tips of its feelers to absorb the nutrients it finds within the stone. And the red version says, The spikes are harder than steel. This Pokemon crawls across rock walls by stabbing the spikes on its feelers into the stone. Okay, these. Oh, it's pretty evolution is Pharaoh Seed. And that's actually going to be the next Pokemon that we look at. So this is Pokemon 597. It is Grass Steel. It's 2 foot tall and 41.4 pounds. It defends itself by launching spikes, but its aim isn't very good at first. Only after a lot of practice will it improve. And a red version says, Mossy caves are their preferred dwellings. Enzymes contained in mosses help ferro seed spikes grow big and strong. This category is called Thunder, and we have Raikou, right? Right? Raikou, I don't know. And number 243. It's electric type. It's six foot three, so it's smaller, my roommate. And 392.4 pounds. It embodies the speed of lightning. The roars of this Pokemon send shockwaves shuddering through the air and shake the ground as if lightning bolts came crashing down. That's the same for both blue and red. And this Pokemon does not evolve. This category is called Thunderbolts and we have Electivire at number 466. It is electric type. It's 5 foot 11 and 305.6 pounds. The amount of electrical energy this Pokemon produces is proportional to the rate of its pulse. The voltage jumps when Electrovire is battling. And the red version says, in terms of electrical energy output, Electrovire is one of the best among all electric Pokemon. It discharges high voltage currents from its tail. Tails. Oh, so these. And its pre-evolutions are Elekid and Electabuzz. Sorry, one of my co-workers bought me some new uh, uh, things for my hair to put my hair back in a ponytail. Uh, but they're like the, the little rubber, rubber-ish, silicone-ish type coils. And, you know, they're, they're all like coiled about... Um, and I'm trying to get used to them with my hair. My hair is so stubborn and it's hard to keep stuff in it or it's hard to keep uh, you know, like braids and all that very tight without like a ton of product in my hair. I don't like putting a ton of product in my hair. So I just have to keep, if it's in a ponytail, I have to keep doing the ponytail repeatedly. So this is Zeb Striker at number 523. It's electric type. It's 5 foot 3 inches and 175.3 pounds. When this ill-tempered Pokemon runs wild, it shoots lightning from its mane in all directions. And the red version says, They have lightning-like movements. When Zeb Striker runs at full speed, the sound of thunder reverberates. Its pre evolution is Blitzel. This category is called Thunderclap. And we have Zer uh, Aura at number 807. It is electric type. It's 4 foot 11, so it's a little bit bigger than me, and 98.1 pounds. It electrifies its claws and tears its opponents apart with them. Even if they dodge its attack, they'll be electrocuted by the fire. Flying Sparks. Sheesh. And the red version says, It approaches its enemies at the speed of lightning, then tears them limb from limb with its sharp claws. Big yikes. 
as Pokemon Design Evolve. Sorry, the scrolling got away from me. Uh, this category is called Tiger Cat. And we have Per Ugly, Per Ugly, at number 438, 432. Excuse me. It's normal type. It's 3 foot 3 inches and 96.6 pounds. It would claim another Pokemon's nest as an own if it finds a nest sufficiently comfortable. And the red version says, To make itself appear intimidatingly beefy, it tightly clenches its waist with its twin tails. Ah, uh, okay. Its pre-evolution is Glam... Glam Meow. This category is called Time Travel, and we have Celebi at number 251. That's the other Pokemon I really like because it's small and cute. Celebi. I don't think they make Celebi merch though. So. It is Psychic Grass. It's 2 foot tall and 11 pounds. This Pokemon came from the future by crossing over time. It is thought that so long as Celebi appears, the bright, a bright and shiny future awaits us. And it's the same for both blue and red. As Pokemon does not evolve. So this category is called Tiny Bee. And it felt it starts a series of categories with Tiny in front of them. So this Pokemon is called Comb Bee and it's 415. Tripping over my, my words, sorry. It is Bug Flying. It's one foot tall and 12.1 pounds. At night, Comb Bee sleeps in a group of about 100, packed closely together in the lump. And the red version says, This trio is together from birth. It constantly gathers nectar from flowers to freeze Vespa Queen. And it evolves to Vespa Queen. This category is called Tiny Bird. And we start off with PG at number 16. It is normal flying. It's one foot tall and four pounds. Very docile. If attacked, it will often kick up, kick up sand to protect itself rather than fight back. And the red version says that as well. And it evolves into Pidgeotto and Pidgeot. So we have Spiro at number 21. It is normal flying. It's one foot tall and 4.4 pounds. Inept at flying high, however, it can fly around very fast to protect its territory. That's the same for both blue and red. And it evolves into Fero. So give me a moment. I'm starting to get a headache and I don't know if it's from the heat or what, but... Um... Yeah, let's take care of that right now. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So this Pokemon is called Natu, and it's number 177. It is Psychic Line. It's 8 inches and 4.4 pounds. It's teeny! It's extremely good at climbing tree trunks and likes to eat the new sprouts on the trees. And the red version says, because its wings aren't yet fully grown, it has to hop to get around. It's always staring at something. <laughs> and it evolves into Zatu. This Pokemon is called Rook, Rook Iddy at number 821. It is flying type. It's again, also it's a little tiny one. It's 8 inches and 4 pounds. This Pokemon is brave and reckless. The white markings around the Rook Iddy's eyes intimidate fate hearted Pokemon. White markings. I don't know. And 
the red version says, the females are fussier than males. If another creature dirties a female with a these wings, it'll peck the offender relentlessly in a burning rage. Oh my God. And it evolves into Corvisquire and Corvinite. This next category is called Tiny Leaf. And we have Turtwig at number 387. How cute! Not what one of my starters would be, but still cute. It's grass type. It's 1 foot 4 inches and 22.5 pounds. Photosynthesis occurs across its body under the sun. The shell on its back is actually hardened soil. And the red version says, It undertakes photosynthesis with its body, making oxygen. The leaf on its head wilts if it is thirsty. My god. And it evolves into Grotto and Torterra. If you hear me fidgeting around so much, I apologize. It's uh, been a long day. It was hot. It was almost 100 degrees. And I kind of cooked myself just because we have fans all over the place, but we try to keep... Um... Oh. It's recommended that we keep our AC at 78 to keep costs down. And because we don't have that much money, um, you know, my roommate and I, we keep it at 78. We have fans. Uh, we have a ceiling fan in the kitchen. We have a newly uh, purchased tower fan in the front room, AC in the front room. And then we have a box fan that kind of like blows the air from the front room into like the cross pathway area for the two bedrooms. And then I have my personal um, uh, desk fan that's on the dresser. And then my roommate has his own fan. So we try to do our best to keep cool. It just... It gets so hard at times, especially when it climbs up in that, you know. It, like, worries me how much the bill... Well, I've already seen how much I have to pay for next month. It's not too, too bad. Uh, I want to try and keep costs down that way, but, I mean... Like, honestly, if we have to crank it up, we'll crank it up. But if we can avoid that, that'd be awesome. So this category is called Tiny Mouse, and we have Pichu at number 172. So yeah, I'm just fidgeting around because I'm so hot, I'm so tired. I streamed earlier, and um, my body just wants to zone out right now. And instead, it's freaking out a bit because I have to be awake, and I have to be alert, and entertaining for y'all. So sorry about that. But we're almost done with this series, so I'm excited. So it is one foot tall and 4.4 pounds. It's electric type too. It is unskilled at storing electric power. Any kind of shock causes it to discharge energy spontaneously. And the red version says, despite this Pokemon's cute appearance, those who want to live with one should prepare to be on the receiving end of its electric jolts. And it evolves into Pikachu and then Raichu. This category is called Tiny Pigeon, and we have P Dove at number 519. It is normal flying, it's one foot tall and 4.6 pounds. Where people go, these Pokemon follow. If you're scattering food for them, be careful. Several hundred of them can gather at once. Oh my God. What did the red version say? It's forgetful and ver not very bright, but many trainers love it anyway for its friendliness and sincerity. And it evolves into Tranquil and Unfezant. What, Bibi? Oh, you're on your pillow pet. She likes to meow happily while she's... Um, 
making biscuits on her pillow pet. So this category is called Tiny Raccoon, and we have Ziz Zigzagoon at number 263. And we also have a Garlean version. Yep, that's the same. It is normal type. It's 1 foot 4 inches and 38.6 pounds. It walks in zigzag fashion. It's good at finding items in the grass and even on even in the ground. And it's the same for both blue and red. It is now dark normal with the uh, Garlean form. It's 1 foot 4 inches and 38.6 pounds. Its restlessness has it constantly running around. If it sees another Pokemon, it will purposely run into them in order to start a fight. Oh my god. And the red version says, Thought to be the oldest form of Zigzagoon, it moves in zigzags and wrecks havoc upon its surroundings. And it evolves into Linoon. This category is called Tiny Robin, and we have Fletchling at number 661. It is normal flying. It's 1 foot tall and 3.7 pounds. This Pokemon is normally calm, but once it enters battle, its hormonal balance changes and it becomes aggressive. And the red version says, Fletchling can be found in both rural and urban areas. They once had a huge territorial dispute with Squawkabilly. Fights broke out all over town. Oh my god. And it evolves into Fletchinder and Talonquin. This category is called Tiny Swallow, and we have Tallow at number, or Talo at number 276. It is normal flying. It's one foot tall and 5.1 pounds. Tamo courageously stands its ground against foes, however strong they might be. This gutsy Pokemon can remain defiant even after a loss. On the other hand, it cries loudly if it becomes hungry. Oh my god. And the red version says, Tamo is young. It has only just left its nest. As a result, it sometimes becomes lonesome and cries at night. This Pokemon feeds a wormhole that live in forests. And as you see, it evolves into Swallow. This category is called Tiny Turtle, and we have Squirtle at number 7. It is a water type. It's 1 foot 8 inches and 19.8 pounds. When it retracts its long neck into its shell, it squirts out water with vigorous force. And the red version says, when it feels threatened, it draws its limbs inside its shell and sprays water from its mouth. Okay. Did I just... Oh, okay. I'm like, did I just read the same thing? And it evolves into War Turtle and Blastoise. So we're out of the tiny category, and we're into the Torch category. And we have Larvesta at number 636. It is Bug Fire. It's 3 foot 7 inches and 63.5 pounds. This Pokemon was called the larva that stole the sun. A fi the fire larvesta sprouts. The fire larvesta sprouts from its horn can cut right through a sheet of iron. And it evolves into Volcarona. This category is called Toxic Lizard. And we have Sand Lit. So, so land it at number 757. It is poison fire. It's two foot tall and 10.6 pounds. It taunts its prey and lures them into narrow rocky areas where it then sprays them with toxic gas to make them dizzy and take them down. And the red version says only female saland so so land it can produce gas laden with pheromones. Males Entranced by this gas, will do whatever the female tells them. And it evolves into 
Salazzle, and that's going to be the next Pokemon that we look at. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> Who drew you like that? It's supposed to be a Pokemon. It's like a children's game. So this is Pokemon 758. It is Poison Fire. It's 3 foot 11 and 48.9 pounds. Salazzle makes its opponents lightheaded with poisonous gas and captivates them with alluring movements to turn them into loyal servants. And the red version says, when two Salazzle meet, they will use their form pheromone gas to fight over the males in each other's group. Oh my god. This category is called Toxic Mouth. And we have Croa Gunk at number 453. It is poison fighting. It's two foot four inches and 50.7 pounds. Inflating its poison sacks, it fills the area with an odd sound and hits flinching opponents with a poison jab. And the red version says it fights fairly. It rarely fights fairly, but that is strictly to ensure survival. It is popular as a mascot. And it evolves into Toxicroak, and that's going to be the next Pokemon that we look at. So this is Pokemon 454. It's Poison Fighting, four point, or I'm sorry, four feet three inches, so a little bit smaller than I am, and 97.9 pounds. Swaying and dodging the attacks of its foes, it weaves its flexible body in close, then lunges out with its poisonous claws. The red version says, it has a poison sac at its throat. When it croaks, the poison stored in the poison is the stored poison is churned for greater potency. Yeah. Ooh, that was a hard time to say. This category is called trainee. And we have Ninkeda at number 290. It is bug ground. It's one foot. 8 inches and 12.1 pounds. Because it lived almost entirely underground, it is nearly blind. It uses its antenna instead. And the red version says, It can sometimes live underground for more than 10 years. It absorbs nutrients from the roots of trees. And it evolves into either nin Ninjask or Shedinja. This category is called Transform. And we have Ditto at number 132. It is a normal type. It's 1 foot tall and 8.8 .8 pounds. Its transformation ability is perfect. However, if made to laugh, it can't maintain its disguise. And the red version says, It can freely recombine its own cellular structure to transform into other life forms. And this Pokemon does not evolve. So this Pokemon is called, or uh, this category is called Transport, and we have Lapras at number 131. There's also a Gigantamax version. Oh my gosh! Yikes! It is Water Ice. It's eight feet two inches and 485 pounds. It loves crossing the sea with people and Pokemon on its back. It understands human speech. That's the same for both blue and red. Sorry, I had to itch a side of my face. So it's still water ice, but now it's at least 78 feet and 9 inches. And nobody knows how much it weighs. Over 5,000 people can ride on its shell at once, and it's a very comfortable ride without the slightest shaking or swaying. And the red version says, it surrounds itself with a huge ring of gathered ice particles. It uses the ring to smash any icebergs that might impede its graceful swimming. And this Pokemon does not evolve. This category is called Trap, and we have Sunfisk 
at number 618. But there's also a Garlean version. That actually does look like a trap. This one, not so much. It is ground electric. It's two foot four inches and 24.3 pounds. Its skin is very hard, so it is unhurt even if stepped on by sumo wrestlers. Wow. It's very specific. It smiles when transmitting electricity. And the red version says it conceals itself in the mud of the seashore. Then it waits. When prey touch it, it delivers a jolt of electricity. It is now ground steel. It's two foot four inches and 45.2 pounds. Living in mud with a high iron content has given it a strong steel body. And the red version says it's conspicuous lips lure prey. Oh, this, it looks like a pokeball. Maybe that's what it means. It's conspicuous lips lure prey in as it lies in wait in the mud. When prey gets close, stun fisk clamps its jagged steel fins down on them. Yikes. And this Pokemon does not evolve. This category is called Trash Bag. And we have Trubbish at number 568. It is Poison type. It's 2 foot tall and 68.3 pounds. Its favorite places are unsanitary ones. If you leave trash laying around, you can even find one of these Pokemon living in the room. Oh my gosh. And the red version says, this Pokemon was born from a bag stuffed with trash. Garlean wheezing relished the fumes belched by Trubbish. Okay. And this Pokemon evolves into Garbodor. And that's actually going to be the next Pokemon that we look at. So this is Pokemon 569, and there's also a Gigantamax version, oh my gosh, there's a bow, there's a plushie, there's a car, a building, oh my gosh, no thank you, it's poison type. It's six foot three inches, so it's a little smaller than my roommate, and 236.6 pounds. This Pokemon eats trash, which turns into poison inside its body. The main component of that poison depends on what sort of trash was eaten. And the red version says the toxic liquid it launches from its right arm. almost looks like a face. It's so virulent that it can kill a weakened creature instantly. So it's still poison. It is now 68 feet and 11 inches at least. And no one knows how much it weighs. Due to Gigantamax energy, this Pokemon's toxic gas has become much thicker, congealing into mass, masses shaped like discarded toys. And the red version says it sprays toxic gas from its mouth and fingers. If the gas engulfs you, the toxins will seep in all the way down to your bones. So this category is called Tricky Fox. And we have Zoru, Zor, Zor, Zorura at number 570. It is dark type. It's 2 foot 4 inches and 27.6 pounds. It changes into the forms of others to surprise them. Apparently, it often transforms into silent children. Oof. And the red version says to protect themselves from danger. They hide their true identities by transforming into people and Pokemon. And this Pokemon evolves into Zoroark. So 
So I think this is a good place to end the video for now. And in the next video, I'm going to do my best to actually make that the last video of my Pokemon category series. It might run slightly longer, but I'm I'm almost done. Almost, almost done. I can do this. All right. So that's going to be all for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.